This is probably the most highly anticipated trailer aside from the initial announcement out of the whole Dragon Ball Sparking Zero rollout. Dragon Ball GT not being in this game would have been a cardinal sin. If Dragon Ball GT wasn't in this game, somebody gonna die. And I'm just being real, bro. Do y'all remember what happened when Marvel and Insomniac forgot to put in the Tobey Maguire suit in Spider-Man 1? Brian talks about, okay, besides the Raimi suit, what other suits do you guys want? What it? What? Side note though, I do have to say this, like honestly, as a Dragon Ball fan, as a, as a long time player of the Budokai and, Tika, and Budokai Tikachi series, like come on bro, let's be real, all these YouTubers reacted to this like it's like, oh my god, GT's real, like bro, this, this is gonna be in the game. There, there was no doubt this was gonna be in the game. I never doubted this. I would have been more surprised if it wasn't in the game day one than actually being in the game. Literally every game since, I want to say Budokai 3, we've had GT characters. Correct me if I'm wrong. The only game I'm not sure about is Tinkaichi One, and that game was trash. I had no doubt they would be in this game. Like, what? what people, people would have, people would have crashed out. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and react to the trailer. Um, I do have some speculation. Well, I did have some speculation, and it got confirmed. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this video. I might do a separate spoiler video. I know some of y'all might not want to be spoiled. I don't know. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and get into this trailer, react to it, point out some Easter eggs, and yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Dragon Ball GT, ladies and gentlemen, probably. One of my favorite Dragon Ball series of all time. Yeah, I'm a nostalgia hit. I love it. We got the theme song. I ain't gonna lie now. I ain't gonna lie. If, if, if Bandai wanted to bring the city outside, they could have dropped that step, step into, into the, the grand, grand tour of Dragon Ball GT. That, that would have bopped. I'm not gonna lie. But the, the original Don Don, Coco Roco, whatever the hell they trying to say. Yeah, it's cool. That slaps too. Wait, GT Pan was beating Goku's... What? Bro, Kid Goku, I'm probably gonna main Kid Goku. I mean, I said Kid Goku, GT Goku. I'm probably gonna main him, I'm not gonna lie. That's like one of my favorite iterations of Goku. It's not the fact that he goes in Super Saiyan 4, bro. Baby Vegeta. Like, I'm, I'm not excited, really, because I knew this was gonna be in the game. But it's really cool just to see. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if they're gonna have all forms of baby. They have to, yeah, they have to. Like, see, I just knew it. Like, they're gonna have to have, ooh. God damn. Baby Vegeta, bro, I feel like, like, I, it hurts my heart so much that GT isn't canon. Because they have such great characters, bro. I'm a GT loyalist. Y'all won't tell me nothing bad about GT. Ooh, ooh, giving out the bink binks. You can tell ooh black, by the way, he fight. He got on them Air Forces. Yep, yep, yep. The brown Air Forces. Dang, what move was that? Revenge is mine. Oh, what? Oh! You better be ready. My boy, I'm ready. I'm feeling pretty strong. We're pretty strong. Bro, right <laughs> sorry. Ooh, to tell you this, wow. There's too much of a power gap between you and me. See, my boy had Ultra Instinct. What was that? That was a, that wasn't a Sonic Sonic Sway. That was turned up. Your fear. Oh wow, that's it's such a clean. That's thumbnail sweet. material. Uh, grade 8 baby Vegeta. Ooh, we get a beam clash? No way. Oh, they didn't show it. Sin. Those are such great characters, bro. What are we talking about here? Like, I will have that debate with anybody in my comment section. GT over Super, bro. Especially, like, character wise. Such great characters. Oh, I remember that attack, dude. Okay, of course, of course they had to have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Was... <laughs> like, why would they not have him? Okay. Ooh. They bumping, they thumping, they thumping. You mean there's just someone stronger than me? Let's fuse, Kakarot. Okay. This is going to be special. I can feel it. Yo. Jun. Ooh. Ooh, that boy clean. You look, you seen that look? Like you seen that? That, that I can't do it. That. You've reached the finale. You've resisted until the very end. Bro, Mega Shenron was so OP, bro. Universal Spirit Bomb. Oh, but I, see, I don't know. The, the they, I wonder why they don't have Goku like shirtless with the battle damage. Oh no, what did I do? Wait, psh, that'd have been crazy if something wild would have popped up, y'all boy. <laughs> I would have got canceled before I even got a career for real. Not that I, I don't do nothing crazy, but yeah. <laughs> All right. So, 
All right, 1011. Well, 108 for the real ones. Okay, shout out Big Big W Bandai. Let's clap it up for Bandai. Clap it up for Bandai. They did the right team, right teams. All right, cool. So let's go into this. Um, I know this off rip, you know, long time fan here. I know it's off rip. Pan, what was that? Was that a hard cut or did, did he go, go out? Did Pan do something like reversal? Did she do a reversal right there or just a cut? I don't know. She could have did an after image. No, yeah, she did. Look at it. She left her after image right there. Oh, wow. That was actually pretty fast, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. It took me a second to really catch that. She hit him with an after image. That after image is, bro. Your whole back is, that's some real Dragon Ball action right there. That, that was fast. I thought that was an edit cut. Okay, she hit him with a nice combo. She had that move all the time from the old games. That was like a rush attack. I to see that come back. Got GT Goku. This must be an explosive wave right here. I saw it earlier. It's like an explosive wave. Baby Vegeta. We got the Gallic Gun. Ooh. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Baby was cleaning Goku before he hit that Super Saiyan 4. This was like Revenge Death Ball, I think it was called. That was a nice, that was a nice move. We got Oob, of course. I don't really recognize any moves from old Oobs. I said Oob. Oob's old lineup. I think he had some weird little move as his super before, like when he was Maju. I don't remember. So none of that really catches my eye. Grandpa. Skip a little bit. I'm feeling pretty strong right now. Yeah, all these moves look brand new except for that pan move. That's that. I don't know what is that a Sonic sway or is that Goku's move? Because I, I think I saw the Sonic. No, that's not a Sonic sway. That has to be Sonic sway because it also it used to do that. It used to give you that little. Tell that you little kickback, bro. He is bro. Too much That's clean. Much of a power gap between you and me. I that's fine. I wonder if that's a grab or not. I don't know. I can taste your fear. It is very sweet. I can feel. Why he stood there and ate that? Yeah, he did have that like flame mouth senses. thing, didn't it? Time that time. flame mouth attack. I think I remember. Yeah. Nothing really special there. Your punishment for abusing the Dragon Balls. Yeah, um, he, he always had that move. I stand above all other shadow dragons as the mighty one star. That move was new. I don't know what that was. That part of the Dragon Fist? That had to be. Oh, you know what? Yeah, his Dragon Fist was. Didn't Goku have Super Saiyan 4 Goku have a Dragon Fist attack where he like punched you in the ground, the dragon came out and then went back like down? I think that's that. I think that's that. What game was that? Was Tick Actually 3? Because yeah, that was his ult, I think. I have to go back and look at that. Yeah, that's the movie he did on Vegeta, bro. He's, I remember he did that in Vegeta, bro. That was crazy. I thought my boy was gone. Okay, let's see if we can get Spidey GT moves. Any old school Vegeta GT moves. Um, of course, Final Flash. This is like a new rush attack. I've never seen that before. Nice little clash. Right, this is where it gets good. That's a bro. That so that's a counter. Looks like that right there was a counter. That right there was a counter for sure. I don't. It looks like it cuts from the rush attack. Maybe he's right there. He's like, yeah, he's doing that. Come hit me, and then as soon as you go in, it's over with. But GT, uh, Gogeta's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's a new move. That's that wasn't in the old. I don't. Think, I don't think. Unless it was part of his super. I think that actually was a part of, yeah, that's a continuation to this. I'm pretty sure. They just made it look like they were clashing. The only thing I got a gripe about, like I said, is GT Goku battle damage. I want him with the shirt off, bro. Hey, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not too much I can go over in this trailer. It wasn't really a lot to break down. One thing I did notice is that there are 10 spots left exactly on this board. There's exactly 10 mainline movie villains. You got, starting from the top, Garlic Jr., you got Dr. Wheelow, you got Turles, you got Lord Slug, you've got Cooler. Um, I'm not gonna say Meta Cooler, like, you know, but you've got, uh, who's after Cooler? Broly? 
You got Bojack. You got Harudagar. You got Janimba. Who's the tenth one? I'm, I'm forgetting right now. It's, it's it's eluding me right now. Uh, somebody stupid. Android thirteen. So those are the ten. And from that moment, I was like, all right, this this these ten are either gonna be those ten characters or like some Dragon Ball characters because they've covered every arc. They got the Saiyan Saga, Nami Saga, uh, Cell Saga, and Boo Saga. So they got all the arcs covered in all these little trailers. So I'm like, who are those ten characters? Are they Dragon Ball characters? I couldn't think of ten Dragon Ball characters specifically, but we do coincidentally have ten movie characters. So I kind of put two and two together on that. Probably do a, uh, another video going over all those leaks um, just in case you guys don't want to get spoiled to see if I was right or if I was wrong. I was right. So the only thing that put a hole in my theory was usually those movie characters come with like their henchmen, at least a couple of them. Like Bojack had Zanga. Um, and I know in the Raging Blast series, Ender 13, he had his little two little henchmen. In the Sekai series, they were never there, but they were there for the uh, Raging Blast series. Um... And then also, this doesn't make any room for Metacooler. Metacooler would technically make 11. So I, 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 it just put a hole in my theory. Next video, if you guys aren't hip to the leaks, I'll cover it and I'll show everything that I know. We'll see if I was right or not. Anyways, the Big W Bandai. Um, it's good to see GT is not DLC, though. I will say that. Um, so they're base roster, as they should be. Um, so yeah, I mean, if I had to choose between having movie characters or GT characters in the base roster, I'm going to choose GT characters. If we look at the movie characters, it's DLC. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Obviously, you guys are probably excited. This game comes out less than a month. Um, I, I'm pretty much this Mortal Kombat and maybe a little 2K is going to really all you're going to see on this channel. So if you're into the, one of those three things, I'm your guy. Subscribe. Like the video. Okay? I'll catch you all in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.